Josh, you want to catch this? Because I did miss one, so there's something. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I missed anything. I kind of got what I mean. Yeah, everything sounded really, really good. Yeah, he gave me more than that. Than <coughs> so, ask me one question. Yeah. Yeah. You going to ask him a question that you already asked? No, I'm going to do a new one. Did you notice the business aspect of college football during the recruitment process? There's a lot of money that goes into college football recruiting. Did you feel any pressure to make one decision over another when it came to picking your school? No, I, I, I mean, during my era, I didn't really feel that pressure. Uh, I think it was more um, just trying to figure out where to go, you know, more so than, you know, the pressure of, you know, a college or a coach or somebody. I think the one, the one thing was, uh, the only thing that a student athlete would probably feel is a pressure to commit at some point. Uh, that's something that really student athletes, you need to kind of measure your um, a school's interest. When I say interest is, you know, those, those offers only stay on the table for so long. You have to remember, if a school is recruiting four running backs, right, and they offer four running backs, somebody's going to get the offer. And it's usually the person who commits first. So if the longer you wait on that offer, waiting for another offer from another school, the less your chance minimizes down, especially if they get the kid that they want. That offer comes off the table. So you gotta be very extremely mindful as how long you want that offer process to go along to. So be mindful as you go through. For example, if you got a kid like Jimmy Christ, Chris, who has 47 Division One offers, and you're a Division One kid who only has two Division One offers, you might want to consider taking that offer. Jimmy, Jimmy Christ, 47 offers, that means that he's a five-star athlete who has time to select whenever he feels like it. He controls his process. Schools are going to wait. If you're a Division One kid who has two offers, you don't control that process. You're just one of probably five or six other kids that they're recruiting, that they're waiting on somebody to commit, and once they commit, your table, your offer comes off the table. Does that make sense? So for me, it was a situation where I did have a little bit of control in my process, but I also knew where I wanted to go. So I kind of made my decision quicker than probably most guys. But don't wait too long. I wanted to share, hey man, I'm sitting up here with my brothers. Y'all come in the camera, man. We just want to hit it up. Can y'all chill, tell Everybody, we just did our interview about the college recruiting process, so forth, so on. You guys kind of share your vision, your story about what you're doing right into that camera right there. So basically what we're doing is we're reaching out to ex-college athletes, ex-NFL athletes. They want to hear their story of recruiting because the process is broken. And what we want to do is kind of give you guys a outline with some key important factors of what to expect when you're going through your recruiting process, what you're looking for, by talking to someone who's been through it and them giving their knowledge, it'll help you in your process. Amen. Uh, how, how, you know, tell them your name. Our me. link, our link is Dark Visors at Instagram. Dark Visors series, how you can find us. My name is Brent Thomas. This is Josh Winchester. And I said, please reach out to us. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. And it's Dark Visors series. That's it. Hey, and that's what we're doing. And that's what we're doing big. Dog just, visor, baby. <clears throat> dog visor. So we just did our interview, man. You guys check it out. Go to their Facebook website, Instagram, so forth, so on. Check them out. And uh, and uh, go visit me at Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Mason 53 on Instagram as well, as well as Facebook. They love you guys. If you're looking to take your uh, training to the next level, visit us at www.macetraining.com. It was a great time with you guys, man. I appreciate it. God bless you. Thank, Thank you so brothers. much. Man. I really appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Yes, sir.